Welcome to Intelligence Fair Life. I'm John Tesh with Connie Selica and Gib Gerard. We start today with something very important for people in relationships, the secret to a happy relationship. Researchers asked 4,000 couples who describe themselves as happy or very happy, big study, wow. to estimate how much time they spent together. They wanted to figure out the secrets of a solid relationship. So here's the formula, according to the survey, of a solid relationship. You must have four hugs a day. Like, uh, can you do them at once? Can I just okay, bank them at the beginning of the day? Just one, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. <laughs> See you later, honey. I'm out. No banking of hugs. Uh, uh. Well, that's better than nothing. That one, two, three, four is better than nothing. But it's, it's true. It's better than nothing. Yes. It's better than see a lady <laughs> and walking out the door. <laughs> you are good at that. You make sure we get the four hugs. I'm not so good at receiving them. I often go, what's the matter? You tense what's up a little bit. I, I think I that's the, the Italian in you. You know, you, yeah, it's, yeah. It's also, I'm a large person, so I think it's, I mean you, I mean you no harm. Uh, number two. Again, the formula for, for a happy relationship. Two romantic walks a month. I, don't know, I would go for two a week. That makes me happy. I like the, the walking. We, I've established this before. We can't walk because she we runs. We can't have romantic you need to, you walks. You need to increase your stride length. Are you, you have me? I'm long six, legs. six You have long legs. You've, have you seen if her you walk? If you increase your stride length, your stride rate does not have to be as high. What if I get a head start? Like it'll, head start, it'll, it'll be like passing. All right, hey, we're going to go on a one-hour romantic walk. Let me go out half an hour. <laughs> and I'll catch you on the way back. <laughs> All right, next. You should be able to go out with other people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I just threw wow, that one. I just threw that one in. No, that's like not progressive good. Progressive 1970s okay. therapy. Men should, give their, <laughs> men should give their partner flowers or another gift at least once a month. Yes. I, I'm terrible at that. I am so bad at that. I you used to, should I do ba it. I barely get like birthday, anniversary, and Christmas done. So, you get Mother's Day in there? I, yeah, I forget Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm just terrible at gift giving. But there's always an occasion to give a gift anyway, so I guess... Yeah, those dates are for amateurs. Well, but yeah, but they, we, we, they just ended up to like seven different dates. Like half the months are already taken care of. A lot of shopping. Yeah. And couples should spend at least one, happy couples should spend at least one evening away from their partner each month with other friends. Like poker night, that makes sense. Yeah. When you say yeah. evening, you don't mean like a sleepover. No, that's weird. Okay. No, I'm, I'm 60 evening years old, I don't sleep over anymore. <laughs> You just mean, like, go out with go friends. Go out, yeah. Poker. Have a party. Poker. I do imagine you calling up some of your other friends of your same age and, be, and like, sitting in bunk beds with your dinosaur pajamas, <laughs> telling ghost stories. <laughs> That's what a sleepover looks like for you at your age. It's hilarious. There it is. The formula, according to the survey of 4,000 couples, what is a happy relationship? Now you know. We should make our own list.